Hi everyone, welcome back to the Scottish Cowboys Darts channel. Today we're doing another new Target product from the recent September launch. These are the Target Rove. Now, these are 90% tungsten. They're available in 23 and 25 grams. These are the model O2. Other models are available. They will be in the gallery at the end of this uh, video. They're £129.95. So, I'm going to show you something before you start bulking at the price. This is how these darts are presented. And that's a really nice aluminium tin. Now, there's lots of accessories inside the tin. You'll see that when I get them over to the table. We're going to do the review just the same as we do every review. We're going to get them to the table, get them onto the board, have a good throw with them, meet back here, do a little recap, and give them their ratings. I've got the new Target Rove darts on the table, and the reason they're still in the box is I want to show you this actual the new packaging this comes in and i'm hoping this is something target's going to be doing going forward it's this little tin now i've already showed you that in the previous section but i'm just going to show you how it's all packaged it is really really nice so before i take the lid off i'll show you the detail on this now you've got a target logo it's a cracking presentation box and then on the back you've got a target as well it's Whoever come up with this idea to the box, go and pat yourself on the back because it is brilliant. A nice little tin to keep them presented in. Now there, you have the three barrels fully assembled with the stems and the flights. Now if you just grip the foam like so, that comes out. And underneath you've got three sets of points, another set of flights, Swiss point remover and the keychain. And this is your barrel guarantee in here. I'm telling you they're 25.1 grams. That'll flyer with everything else that's on it, which soon that will probably be a flyer for the Omni. So I'm going to let you see these points because the points are really nice as well. There you go, that's one set of spare points that you get. Really, really nice. So we'll stick that away and we'll focus on the darts. But I just wanted to show you that and let you know that's what you are getting. And these £129.95, they're not cheap. But for what you're getting with the darts, I don't think they're actually that expensive. I think there's a lot of more expensive darts out there that don't come with this amount of attention to detail with the packaging. A nice presentation tin. Even if you're going to use these darts all the time, you don't like use your tin, put them back in. You can use that for your flights, your stems. Just keep all your darts stuff in it. Now, they only come in 23 and 25. They come with a Titanium Pro number 6 and number 2 flight. So, these look like it's number 6 that's on them, number 2 in the box. Short titan Titanium Pro shafts which are 34mm long and the 26mm Rove Swiss points I really like those points so let's have a good look at this dart so we're going to take this off get it out of the road now we'll come back to that so let's start with the point now you're seeing it's a 26mm point and it's 25.88 so that's perfect the barrel now these are 25 now the 23 if you want name they're 45mm by 775 These ones are 46 by 81 And I know, I know there's people out there looking for a dart that has got a fatter barrel. So these are 46, that's exactly what it says. And I'm looking for 8.1. 8.15. So it's near, near about. 0 0.05, you're not going to worry about. That thread... Really nice, as normal. The drill depth, now that is quite a deep, that is 17 mil, so this is definitely going to be front weighted. Look at the detail on this barrel. Now you'll see this better in the super close up, but look at the detail, you've got a little V. Now, 
This is meant to replic uh, represent modern technology like it's all to do with microchips and what you'd see. That just looks, if you look at those little diamonds, the little squares with the four holes in them, the flat bottomed, the detail is amazing. The colours, I really like this dart. Will I be able to throw it? I don't know. It's a bit thick for me. But if you're a rear gripper and you like a push point, man, you've got a great push point here. But I think everybody that's watching this video, you've got to admit that is a really nice looking dart. When you go and look at the aluminium shaft on the flight, now when you take the flight out, oh, I'm beginning to be already dreading trying to get that back in. This comes apart in two bits. So if you damage the top bit, just order another one. Your shaft should be okay. So it says that these are 34 millimeters. So let's give them a wee me. There you go, 34 millimeter. Bang on. I don't really use the aluminium shafts myself, I'm a K Flex man. And it is number 6 flight 33. And the new flight for these, for the Rove darts, looks really, really nice. So I'm going to have another look at this barrel. I really like the colours in that barrel. Ah, super striking. I'm going to look forward to seeing what it's like in the board. So let's get them measured, uh, weighed, so I can get them onto the board. So dart number one, 25.16, dart number two, 25.08, and dart number three, 25.17, so 0.09 of a difference, so if you go in the middle of that and you go plus 0.5 minus, plus 0 0.05 minus 0 0.05, these are just in tolerance. Full setup, 27.28. So let's have a close look at the new Rove Swiss Point. This is a 26mm one, as you can see, coming up to the front of the barrel. Then you get that little taper. Now on this section you can see they've got intricate milled V's and then you've got all these milled squares but it's what it's inside the squares. You've got four drilled holes, just flat bottomed holes to make these little, little circuit boards in every single one of the holes. If you look at that detail you can sometimes see it green, sometimes see it blue, it is really nice. The shape of the barrel you can see the indents on the outside of the barrel, giving it that shape and that feel. Then you've got that target logo. And this is continued all the way up the barrel where it tapers down to the titanium stem. But the milling detail in this dart is phenomenal. Then you come up to that titanium stem. You've got the top bit of the shaft that comes off. Then you've got the new flights. So I've got the Target Rove Model 02 set up and as you can see I'm using the new neon green K-Flex number 2 in medium. So we're going to see how we got on with these for length and balance. I may have to change the back end. So let's go. Well they're coming out of my hand really good. These are going to suit people who really like the Scott Williams type dart. They're very thick barrels, a bit like John Lowe used to use. Oof. 
how can you get a treble 20 with a first dart and then the next two are rubbish? One thing I will say, these K-Flex look spectacular on the board. Having to throw them a bit harder because the back end's a bit longer. I may try a shorter back end to see how I go on. But I really like the look of the K-Flex. The grip on this barrel is the same all the way. It's two, two and a half. It's not much more than that. I like them. Can't fault them. But I use them as a match start. No, because they're too chunky for me. Oh, they fly good. If you're looking for that chunky barrel, it's something the market seems to be missing a lot of at the moment. And target I'm knocked off with a grip. Having that grip all over the barrel, it's not interfering with your release. I can get used to these darts. The way they shine in the board, the K-Flex as well. I wasn't sure how they were going to look in the board, but ho. Oh. Let's do the 201 challenge. Wish me luck. Steady, 60, but no trouble in the treble. 60. Ah, consistent. 60. Oh man. Sixty. Oh, jump and Joseph well, I haven't left. Oh. That was the only shot that was on. So let's recap on the Target Rove 02 darts. Now these ones are 25 grams. They're just a little bit on the heavy side for me. 23 maybe suit me a little bit better, but I still done okay with them. And the 201 challenge. I left my cell on 21 and I took it out the only way I know how to take it out. Double five, double three, double one. It's my go-to route. If you believe that, you'll believe anything. So the grip rating on these, it's a two at the front, a two in the middle, and a two at the rear. With this shape of dart, it's the same grip all over. The way Target have machined this dart to look like, I'm going to describe it as little microchips, little emeraldy coloured microchips, and they catch, they catch the light when you're on the dartboard really, really well. Give really good grip. I was getting good push. A lot of people have been asking for another bomb-shaped dart to come out, but a chunky one, and they've got their wish. If you're into that shape of dart, they're a bit 
more chunky than the Scott Williams darts, but if you're into that type of shape, I'm sure you're going to love these. Value for money now. They're 129 pounds and 95 pence, and this may surprise you. They're getting a 10 out of 10. What you get inside this tin is definitely a good value. The machining in that dart, the coating on the dart, the colour in the dart, the points you get, the spare points, the spare flights, the Swiss point key, the tin presentation, all adds up. It's a cracking purchase. Really, really good. Based on my bunting Gen 5s, been 10 out of 10, these get an 8. I could throw them. I wouldn't choose them if I had my buttons. But if I didn't have my buttons, I would happily use these. I'd do okay with them. The 201 average was 50.25, 100% on the doubles. I deliberately left 21 so I could show you that little trick shot. Uh -huh. <laughs> also, on the darts, I had the new neon range of the K flexes on them. I had the green. And if you, you may no see it as good in the video, but in real life, they absolutely sparkle on the board. They really catch the light and they light up. It's really good. So if you like them, get down to St. Helens or go on the Target's website, get yourself a set ordered and you'll be able to see in the light, on the board, they look amazing. Now, if you've liked this product and you want to try it before you buy it, head to St. Helens. They've got them. They will let you have a throw. They've got all the boards set up, practice boards. If you're happy enough just to buy them, get on the Target's website, stick in the details for Rove. You've got different models, which is going to be in the gallery right after this recap. You'll be able to see what other models are available. So thanks for watching, guys. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the little like button, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any other future reviews. But most importantly, keep enjoying your darts, and I'll catch you on the next review.